right, so it was a miserable, drizzle day. I know we didn't get the snow and the sleet and the ice that some were hoping for, but it did work out more or less like we thought. We did get some rain. Here are some of the rain totals from around town. Again, no one really got more than uh, three quarter or three quarter. Um, um, uh, a quarter of an inch, excuse me. But for the month, I mean, it seems like we've got a lot of rain. Two inches so far this month in the Triangle, about an inch and a half down in the Sand Hills for the year. While it also seems like we've had a lot, we're actually a little bit behind both in the Triangle and in the Sand Hills. And late last night, we did officially get a trace of sleet and snow, which means our snow free 2019 is technically over. We don't have anything to show for it, but I can't go on with that fancy statistic anymore. And we've still got some rain out there tonight. But it is rain, and there is no question that it'll be anything other than that. And while the radar doesn't look as green as it did earlier in the day, we're still going to have some drizzle and mist throughout the evening, as well as some fog later tonight. And we've got more rain coming not only overnight and tomorrow, but also the rest of this week. These scatter showers back to our west and southwest will encroach upon our viewing area in the next 24 to 36 hours. Our temperatures, while they're not warm, are mostly above freezing. Notice that we've got 40s down in the Sand Hills, mid 30s here in the Triangle, temperatures very close to freezing up by the Virginia border. This warmer air is slowly going to move north overnight, so our temperatures tonight, it's going to be one of those nights where the numbers are either going to hold or actually go up a little bit depending on where you are. One thing that's not going to change, the cloud cover. We're stuck with that through the evening, and it's probably not going to rain nonstop at your house from now until morning, but scattered showers on and off through tonight, through the overnight hours, and even for tomorrow morning's commute. And again, it's going to be rain and nothing more as those temperatures slowly move up. We'll add in some fog, so the uh, miserableness of today Probably won't be as miserable overnight because it might get a little warmer, but it sure isn't going to be pretty. And what a complicated weather pattern we have. Number one, chilly today because high pressure parked up to the northeast just continues to filter in that cold air. And while that's going to get cut off some in the next couple of days, we've still got a couple frontal boundaries, a couple areas of low pressure, just a really unsettled pattern going forward. So if you're hoping for sunshine and warm temperatures, I don't have a lot of that in the next couple of days, but I do have some of that on the seven day. So here we are tonight at 11, still socked in with clouds. We'll have the fog. We'll have drizzle and mist kind of everywhere. More scattered showers for Thursday morning's commute, but we're well above freezing. So nothing to worry about there other than rain. Lunchtime, another round of passing showers, and then we'll keep the clouds around for tomorrow afternoon and evening. Still some drizzle and mist possible, but a little bit drier time moves in before another round of rain comes our way Friday morning. So we've still got a ways to go before we get some real dry weather. It's a 60% chance tomorrow, 80% Friday, 60% on Saturday. Notice temperatures are warmer, but still cool. Remember, most of us didn't get out of the 30s today. Then on Sunday, we finally start to break out of this funk. We'll get some sunshine in here, drier weather, and look at our temperatures soaring up to 70 degrees. If you kind of just look at the whole seven day, you're like, uh, Sunday doesn't look right. But yes, that's exactly how it's going to work out. We will cool back down on Monday with temperatures back into the 50s Tuesday and Wednesday. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to go outside Sunday. 